lightweight championship fight between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Alexander Volkanovsky. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. for this lightweight fight. Choi is 29, Volkanovski is 31. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of right, the world. The Korean Super Bowl to they touch him up, and we are underway. So All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Nice loop and punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Powerful leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Volkanovski. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice right hand. Nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that one. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kicks were what got the belt from Max Holloway. He used that to slow Max down, get him out of his conventional stance, make him fight the stance that he's not used. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. 
Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Game of inches right there, boys. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Got clip with the right hand. Big, big land. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, straight right. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Five single collar tie now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big leg kick land. Unable to land with that punch. to the body. Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Turn it around. Big punch land goes to the top. How's he going to follow this? Leg kick. Straight right, he misses. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Shot to the body is blocked. Cable. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Look at the whip action that comes from him for that kick. Ten seconds to go in round one. Single collar tie now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Trying to establish that jab once again. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. <laughs> Throws the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense?
Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Just misses there with the left. Big punch land Perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Real quick leg kick. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful leg kick throw. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, but I'm taking the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, single collar tie here. Good speed. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Volkanovski's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Back and forth we go here! Look at him whip his hip. His hip's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Wow! Oh, look at that. Left up and landed the diving punch to the head. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh, Volkanovski's got his... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
blocks the shot. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And now he's got that tight clinch. That knee might have landed there. Big punch land. He's hurt bad. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Good right hand right there. He's got him softened up here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Left punch is true. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. have crossed the midpoint of this fight. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Volkanov. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Shore. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. The Korean Superboy gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, big punch land. We're not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been... Oh, he's right off the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Got a single collar tie. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He blocks the shot. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, found the hole for that left hand. guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 3. 
declare the winner by knockout and still. Money. This is the deepest, toughest UFC division, and the road to lightweight glory still goes through that man's backyard. Congratulations to the champion.